Hello everyone. Welcome to Manatee County Parks and Natural Resources. My name is Michelle Leahy and today we're going to be learning about a special group of animals called pollinators. Pollinators move from flower to flower in search of their favorite food, nectar. While they're searching for their favorite food, they unintentionally pick up little granules of pollen and give it a free flight to the next flower. This helps the plants to reproduce. We often think of honeybees of being the leader in this unique process, but in fact, lots of animals contribute to reproducing more plants, including butterflies, birds, bats, bees, wasps, and beetles. Beetles, one of the most ancient pollinators, actually contribute to 90% of the world's flowering plants. They're known as mess and soil pollinators because they will chew through a flowering plant, leaving their droppings behind. They may seem untidy, but actually they've done a lot for us. Thanks, beetles. Fossil records show that beetles began pollinating plants 200 million years ago. They tend to pollinate things like spice bush, water lilies, and magnolias, which are close descendants of the plants that they pollinated in the Mesozoic era. Butterflies who visit many types of wildflowers are some of our most charismatic pollinators. They will zip from flower to flower, unintentionally picking up pollen granules on their search for nectar. By depositing these granules, they start the pollination process. You can spot butterflies in our parks, preserves, and even in your own backyard. Since 2015, Manatee County has hosted their own butterfly count out at Duet Preserve. Since that time, staff and volunteers have worked together to identify over 75 species of moths, skippers, and butterflies. You can participate too by signing up to be a volunteer. When talking about pollinators, we can't forget our feathered friends. Hummingbirds, honey creepers, and honey eaters all do their part to help with the pollination process. When they go to sip the nectar, they pick up pieces of pollen and transfer it to another flower. There are 8,000 flowering plants that depend on hummingbirds to pollinate them. What a number. Here in Florida, the ruby-throated hummingbird makes its way through Florida in the springtime. Look out at Lefis Key on Bradenton Beach for the flowering dogwood near the entrance and you might be able to see them dance with happiness. Mammals such as bats can also be pollinators. Although all of the bats in Florida are insect eaters, in other parts of the, of the planet, they do their part to help with the pollination process. The Mexican long-tongued bat, for example, can help with night-blooming flowers such as the agave plant. Many plants depend on pollinators. 75% of the world's flowering plants and 35% of the world's food crops depend on pollinators. Some scientists estimate that one out of every three bites of food that we take are made possible by our pollinating friends. In addition to agriculture, pollinators give us more ecosystem services in the form of medicine, shelter, clothing, and most importantly, oxygen. You can help support your local pollinators by planting a pollinator garden at home. Talk to your local plant nursery about getting native plants to put in your backyard. This will provide not only food, but shelter and habitat for our pollinating friends like birds, bees, and butterflies. Thank you for stopping by and learning about pollinators and their important role in our ecosystem. We hope you'll join us on facebook.com or mymanatee.org to learn more from our online learning opportunities. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.